guys welcome back to another video now in today's video i'll talk about i'll give you a quick tip about how to use your handbrake in Exeter Corsa Rally. So recently I was watching a video of Gamer Muscle here. So in this video, he is talking about uh, the handbrake setup, how you can actually make the handbrake setup better in this game. And while making this video, he has said the word handbrake 247 times. So, uh, uh, but the main important thing is that in the comments, in the comments I saw a lot of people are saying that the handbrake is not being detected in the game Exeter Corsa Rally. So what's the fix for this? Uh, this is actually a very simple fix uh, which we might have missed or uh, because or maybe it's because of this new interface in the game. So uh, I'll just quickly show you how to actually make your handbrake work. Any handbrake will work. Let me show you my handbrake first. So this is my handbrake which I'm using right now. Okay, this is a DIY handbrake. If you want to know how I made this handbrake then the link will be there in the i button up above somewhere up over here. And this is a handbrake, just, uh, just a button handbrake. It's not an encoder handbrake, remember. This is just a button handbrake. It's actually made with a cheap Chinese USB. Uh, it's called a joystick. Uh, you can actually make, it's mainly used for fire flight simulator and stuff like that. But uh, it's a very small joystick. It has like 12 buttons. You can connect buttons. There are two pins. Two pins connect goes to this, uh, this device over here. And uh, when you press it, I actually made this whole thing. You can actually check it out. And I'll not talk much about this. I'll talk mainly about how to actually make your handbrake work. But first, when you when you connected your handbrake, make sure for some reason what might happen is that the handbrake might not get detected. Go to your control panel and see whether your handbrake is working or not first. Sometimes the game might interfere with something. And okay, this is the control panel. Like if I, if I press a button over here in the handbrake, let's see if it works or not. Sometimes it might show like this, but it might also not work. You see the buttons are working. Look at that button glowing over there, up over there. This is the up shift and the down shift. So, okay, you can also use it as a handbrake. So, it's working fine. So, now what, what's the problem here in the game? Go to settings there. Go to inputs. You see there are three columns there for keyboard, uh, gamepad and uh, wheel. By default, it will be gamepad like this. Okay, so switch this to key, uh, wheel, racing wheel. And here, you see, there's an option for handbrake over there. So on this option, I'll just remove this. Okay, it's already being uh, set as button three. I'll just, see it's button three is over here. It's working like that. I'll just remove this button. And now it's, there's no button assigned. Now simply, you have to, whatever the main thing is that whatever device extra device you're adding here in this game all has to go in this section only in racing wheel if you try to add the handbrake here it will not work let's I'll, i'm just showing you if i try to add handbrake over here it will not work see it's saying let the device not allowed okay so let's escape i'll press escape so only option is to add this on the racing wheel section now here i'll press it and if i press the button like this see it's working just like that okay and it's it's going half because I have set it that way because this is a button remember if you try to use a button handbrake when you press it if it fully goes up then your tires will be jammed too much and you will end up spinning at 360. So to avoid that I actually made some settings and uh, if you are uh, having an encoder handbrake then you don't have to follow this step but if you are having a handbrake like me a button handbrake just go to device settings and go to braking options the braking option uh sorry not like the force feedback uh, in the braking device settings in the racing wheel section handbrake option in the handbrake option copy this exact setting which i'm used, which i've used right there and then uh, your handbrake will actually uh move halfway around it's actually a 50 percent handbrake so that's, that's all about today's video uh, i hope you really got the point of how you can actually you know use your handbrake in a sort of course a rally this is actually quite uh easy thing easy thing to do so that's all and if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. If my video helped you in any way, do give a like or you can hype it up. Till then, see you on my next video.